Hi everyone, I'm Tom Waugh, co-founder of Ignite Digi. Welcome to our hometown of Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. We're out here on the beautiful Derwent River. You can see Kunani, Mount Wellington behind me. And here we have the Freefly Movi XL. I'm gonna talk you through what we have set up on here. We have the red Komodo. We've got our Ignite Digi Keystone. We've got the XL top adapter here. We've got our XL booster seat, which is a new product for us. We've got the Movi XL bridge plate down the bottom. And around here you can see on the other side of the Keystone, we've got the Teradek mounted on the carbon side plate. We've got the MDRX mounted with a bolt into the Keystone. We've got a total of three Fizz motors. Two of them are the Motor X and one of them is the MK3.1. And then up the front, got the TOF one. We've got the Schultz micro rain spinner. Got the ARRI map box. And of course, we've got the big Ongino Optimo style 25 to 250 T3.5. So why the booster seat under here? For us to get the Keystone to the correct studio bridge plate height, we previously had to have the gimbal mate, the R2 tripod adapter, an Ignite Digi spacer plate, and then the bridge plate underneath that. So obviously that's quite a stack in terms of weight. It's also got another quick release mechanism in it, which is good if you want a quick mode change from a smaller gimbal to the Movi XL. Not that that would be a super quick change because you're often running a bigger lens in this setup. Um, or if you need to quick mode change to studio bridge plate on the tripod, say you're using this 25 to 250 on the O'Connor head, and then you need to go back to prime lenses on the Movi Pro, then this would be the setup to use. For those running the Komodo and Keystone on the Movi XL on an arm or things like that, where you don't necessarily want another quick release and you would just want the most rigid mounting, then the, this is where the booster seat comes in. So the booster seat mounts with four M4 holes to the bottom of the Keystone, the same as the gimbal mate plate. On the bottom here, you can see all of the 3 8 16th holes. The ones to the center are for bridge plates like the Freefly or the wooden camera or bright tangerine. The two offset 3 8 16 holes and the dowel pin slots are for the ARRI BP8 and BP9. Around the front, you can see we've got the M4s on both sides, and that's for if you wanted to mount the power breakout down the bottom here for easier access, or if you're running the booster seat on an Alexa Mini or Mini LF, and you didn't have then the space to put the power breakout. So we put that there. That's a shout out to Keaton from Ascending Works for that idea. The booster seat is available in black or orange on our store.